guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Becca and I am documenting my 70 pound weight loss journey. I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys what I eat in a day. I do use Weight Watchers to track my points, but I also leave down in the description calories, just in case if you're doing either or, you can find that information down below and all the recipes that I'm using. I love using Pinterest. I know some people are like over Pinterest, like they are, they either did it and they're done or they're so young, which I don't know the youngest demographic that I have that watch my videos, but I don't even know if a lot of young people use Pinterest or ever have, but I'm addicted to it, love it. So I have posted any recipes that I get from there on my Pinterest. So if y'all would like to follow that, you don't have to. There's only a couple posts over there, but that is gonna be down in the description also, just in case if you, it'd be a lot easier for you to find the workouts that I do and the foods that I eat. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I ate this week, or today, not this week. I don't know where I'm at today. <laughs> it is, it's been a day and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys what I ate today and then I'm gonna chit chat with you guys afterwards. I hope you guys have been having a wonderful day so far. And yes, I already have my Christmas decorations out. Let me know in the comments, is it too early for you guys? Have y'all already started? Like, let me know. When do y'all start putting out your Christmas tree and decorations? I would love to know. I know some people wait till after Thanksgiving or even like till December to do it, but I'm too eager. You guys know me by now. I am way too excited for holidays. If I can decorate, I can celebrate, then I'm going to do it as soon as possible. I love changing up my space and because like normally I just don't have fun decorations in my house normally. So the holidays is my reason to just do some fun stuff. Um, but that's me. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to know. And of course, you guys know I drink coffee every single morning. That, um, it's not a creamer. It's a syrup. Is the best syrup that I've ever, like, it wasn't good at first, but I got used to it. And this is my favorite salad. Oh my gosh. If you haven't tried this salad kit, definitely try it. It's really not too high in calories. And you guys know it was either a super salad for me today and it was the salad. And these energy drinks. I like this flavor. They didn't have my favorite one, which is the red slushy, but it's good. And then tonight for dinner, I'm just preparing the onion for the dinner that I'm making, which is a chicken pot pie casserole. And guys, it was delicious. I was expecting it to be good. I love chicken pot pies, but I always thought that it would be like really bad. You know, not that the stuff in it's bad for you, but it would be very high in calories. So this is a Weight Watchers. It's supposed to be six points. I will go ahead and spoil the, the surprise. There's not really a surprise, but spoil it for you. I could not find low fat biscuits. Um, they did not exist at my store and I was in a mood to make this. So I was like, whatever I can get, I'm going to get it. So I did not have that ingredient. <laughs> and in this, I'm going to go ahead and put my frozen vegetables in the pan. You're not going to put water on it or in it or anything like that. You're just going to put it straight into the pan. And I put a lid over the skillet while it cooked, um, just to make sure that it heated up enough. And you're just going to get everything tender, your onions and your mixed vegetables. And then while that's cooking, I went ahead and mixed together my cans of soup, which you're going to need the potatoes to pay potato can of potato <laughs> I don't know I'll put it in the description and the mushroom soup and then you're gonna need to mix those up I also I did not film it but I boiled my chicken to the side I cubed it up before I put it into the boiling water and the way I did that is I used my kitchen scissors of course and then I went ahead and just added it into the mixture um, I didn't show that either, but it's in there. I do have chicken in there and it's just easy. I just didn't think you guys wanted to see that step. Well, then you're just going to mix it all together. And then after the fact, you're going to want to cube up your biscuits and then you're going to want to put it into your casserole dish. Now, I don't know if you know this about me guys, but I love a good casserole and this is a good casserole. This is a comfort food. I so easily could have like three servings of this. That is not good for me because I am a comfort food kind of girl. If you guys are, let me know. But it is dangerous, but I did not eat too much. I made sure I made a portioned serving 
and did not go overboard. I will definitely be having this during the week though. <laughs> I'm going to be looking forward to it too. It was just so good and I cannot believe that it was so like, it was a healthier version of it. So I would definitely recommend this to you guys if y'all like chicken pot pie. And if not, I don't, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> and if you don't like casseroles, I'm also sorry. I used to make casseroles all the time, like to the point where my sister-in-law like almost makes fun of me because I make so many casseroles. But it's just so easy. If you guys cook for like a large amount of people, a casserole is the way to go. You can make it and then you can store it in the fridge. I don't know why I'm talking about casseroles, guys. I guess I just feel some type of way about it. <laughs> but you're going to smash your little biscuits into this. Now, when I did it, I didn't consider how many little pieces I had. So you're going to see me have to maneuver some of them over to kind of fit them all together. But I put this in the oven for 350. It's on the recipe, it says for 20 minutes, but I left it in for 25 because I really wanted it to get that golden brown brown and that's what I would do if I were you too. Just add a little bit more time if you have to. If not, I mean, that's good too, right? <laughs> well, it turned out delicious. Definitely try it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, all the ingredients, recipes, points, and calories are going to be down in the description, but I wanted to talk to you guys about something else. So, I am doing a 30 day grow a dough challenge currently on Thursday. I am posting my results and how everything has went, which I'm really excited about. It's my 30 day update and I'm, I don't know, I'm just pumped to share with you guys how everything has been going, but I wanted to start another 30 day challenge and I was wondering if you guys would want to do it with me. A lot of you guys really wanted to do the 30 day challenge and I didn't consider that y'all would want to do it with me. And if so, let me know in the comments because I thought it would be kind of cool if I shared my plan for the 30 days because I'm going to put the videos together. That way um, for Thanksgiving, we can have a break for a couple days. Um, I don't know if you guys are planning on eating and just relaxing on Thanksgiving, but I am. <laughs> so I'm planning on giving us a little break and then jumping back into it and getting right back into working out and just going straight to trying to lose that extra weight that we're going to be gaining. But um, that way we can kind of communicate with each other about how the week went for not just me, but you guys, because I really do enjoy reading you guys' comments and how you guys have been doing your workouts and your results that y'all have been getting. So I thought maybe if we could do it together, maybe it'd be kind of fun. Maybe, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, but I will be posting all of that to my Pinterest, my Instagram, and on here. And I will definitely see you guys on Thursday. And if you're still watching this video and you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. It really does help my channel and lets me know that you guys are there for me. And I just appreciate that so much. And like the video too. But I will see you guys on Thursday. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and a good night. Bye.